the first true flowers of spring then. These freshly emerged colt's foot flowers just poking out of this stony pile of gravel and stone chippings here in Sherwood Forest Country Park on a dull, heavily overcast and fairly cold day today. These flowers make a welcome sight. Coltsfoot is one of the most important early sources of nectar for a wide range of invertebrates, especially those early flying Andrina solitary bees. But they're also well visited by a number of butterflies. But one butterfly that I'm going to show you today will not have a happy ending. This is no delightful spring story. This sad spring story may at the moment be an uncommon one, but over the next few years and decades, it may well become increasingly more common. Features a butterfly you might not expect, but we'll have a go anyway. This is a delightful male orange tip butterfly who was sat with wings open a few seconds ago. Now, it's shut up shop, so to speak. What's so unusual about this butterfly? After all, orange tip is a very common and familiar sight along country lanes and woodland rides during the course of spring, but that may well indeed be so. However, we're not in spring yet. If you look at the foliage on the trees or the lack of foliage on any of the trees behind me you may well realize that this butterfly is out far too early now a few weeks ago i did a video on orange tip pupa and one was showing some signs of coloring up four days ago this male hatched the sad thing is that this most beautiful butterfly will probably never ever get to fly it's out way too early from a pupa that I've kept at home but before you all shout well you've kept it too warm I haven't all my pupa are kept outdoors so the early emergence of this orange tip is natural or unnatural in a way. Sad thing is, as apart from it probably never ever flying, at least not more than a meter or so, this is probably not as uncommon as we might think. So you may well be asking, well why aren't we recording all these butterflies yet, but many probably in a similar instance to this little beauty. If it emerges early and the pupa has been forming very slowly, far slower than normal, but still forming up nonetheless over the course of the last two months, even if it does emerge, as this one has under natural conditions, the daytime temperature for the last few weeks hasn't been warm enough for a butterfly to fly. And the chances are with ice and potentially snow filtering into Nottinghamshire in the next day or so those temperatures will finish this butterfly off in my experience of having this butterfly in years gone by they don't do well to cold spring temperatures and so this beautiful butterfly one of my favorite butterflies it's very likely doomed it'll never meet a female i do have, have another couple of people at home but they're not showing any signs of coloring up and forming yet it's 
So what do we do? What can be done? Because this is no doubt down to global warming or climate change or whatever your thoughts are. I doubt that little can be done anyway, to be honest. But whatever the reason for butterflies and indeed moths forming up early and emerging at strange times of the year, and I have had other species as well emerge in the past, even though kept outside, it's elephant hawk moths emerging at daft times of the year and eyed hawk moths emerging in February or something daft like that. It's becoming an increasingly common event. And the reason that early butterflies or ridiculously early butterflies in emergencies aren't recorded is because the butterflies or moths, when emerging at the wrong time of year, probably never even get a chance to fly. So people don't see them. This is clear evidence that whatever it is, something is wrong. Not just locally. Habitat loss and the such like can't be blamed for this. Climatic events, changes in climate can. But this butterfly's emergence in early March could well be down to the effects of last year and the hot temperatures of last summer. Effects on species like this can be enormous and to be honest we don't really know anything about it because no one's ever had a chance to study it. And only because of our a number of these pupa, two or three, I say a number, but it's only two or three, only by myself having these at home, has this event gone on record, so to speak. Although, I won't be sending the record into the county recorder. It's just a shame that something so beautiful has to emerge so early its fate is already sealed even if we had very mild conditions this butterfly won't live long enough to attract a mate or find a mate sad state of affairs but this sad state of affairs in all likeliness or likelihood will become increasingly common doesn't help this little chap much though does it one of our most beautiful and charismatic and indeed a sign of spring a true sign of spring it doesn't help this orange tip. By the time we've decided what's caused changes to our climate, is it a natural thing? Is it man-made? Is it both? It'll be too late, probably, for many species to adapt because it's all happening relatively quickly in a short time span. And delicate insects like butterflies especially and many moths probably won't be able to stand the change and that's the saddest thing of all <laughs>